we didn't really see um, this South Asia team actually play Haven. This is the first time I think we're spotting them right now uh, coming into this one. Still, immediate charge by BLT. No more uh, shenanigans. All serious business. No Lammy Snacks no caught out in the open. And you can already see right to Ace. For the more standard defense here instead. Smokes still are out. And Vora has moved on over to the only thanks to the new patch. With the Matarasu, nice break down to Ashanti. The thing is, PTC uses this opportunity Last to get all the way into hell, but the Matarasu racks in time. And he'll be the god of the graffiti, cha la la la, with a bit of a song, a dance, and eventually. It was a blind spot that uh, Velocity was just not able to deal with. That being said, though, Deathmaker already starting to actually uh, out fragging, I think is the better term, when they were all going up against Global Esports in the finals. That being said though, all of this still looking very, very good in the favor of Velocity as now V is... They did have to rebuy those. It's not the most sound kind of round, sure. But everyone getting on the board and... Both initiators will be trapped on the A side here. PPC on the contact immediately, but Deathmaker also so good on the entry already. Buy on Deathmaker to make that entry. Put it. Seems like a play for the buy round, not for the eco. But a snipe there from John Olsen after Velocity on that right place. And set up the darts as well. And here comes Dr. Fury, but Vivor up close to personal, finding two already, saying his name to the opposition oh right place, even catching out John Olsen. And Lammy Snacks now, the only one left. He sees the fried corpse of the jet in front of him, picks up the operator, but here comes Deathmaker. Nice wall bang though from Lammy Snacks. Don't forget how potent he can be no matter. Is a scoreline unexpected. Slight happenstance. Instead, it will be an absolute stay and show of force. Matarasu though, already with the push. And here comes right to Ace also with the darts. Deathmaker and Hella. Well executed here by Velocity. All they need is the... Now he does have his ultimate. Spots out one already. There you go. Finally gets the first pick. Vibhor as he was very low. Or don't really want to give the any or uh, proper kills here. Quick scope. Well, not quickly. It's interesting that full sense ignored that turret after. John Olsen was already getting shot on up. He couldn't move because of that 8 punch. And Hell up. He is just bringing it 2 to Hell down with him. But D and Lammy snacks now. Getting dense. They lose control of the site yet again. The loss to be given the chance right now to try and set things up, but what a perfect play from the sky and Sova stun into oh, the Hunter's Fury. Even breaks the lockdown in this instance. But Velocity, they've changed the rules of Gatherer of Information. Dot, dot, dot. We'll see how this goes, because right to Ace is incredibly low. It's all down to Vibhor. He's trying to pop all the shots as of the moment, but they've already had the spike. They know where he is. His teammate is coming in from short to also hit up the diffuser. That's not going to work out. And finally, the first round taken here by Full Sense. Mo Criminal gameplay yet again. And of course, PTC making plays for himself. This operator and that maker. They go for a bit of a an angle, but oh, never mind. No. Straight line, sis. It will get met by John Olsen, but if they wait, maybe John Olsen will actually get caught up. The plan on the spike will here. gravitate to the attention of the rest of the Full Sense squad. Because they know that there should be some of the sight. They use the smoke already to dissipate. And this one where Vibhor and Help are uh, just playing around in. They get the fix already. There it is. John Olsen still has the dash. Spots out one, but Vibhor is holding on true. They're pushing through the smoke too aggressively here, Dax. And they might have actually lost this one a little bit too preemptive as Vibhor hits a 3k. Full sense. What was that? We'll adhere to this. But this does give a bit of leeway. Wait, nice shot dart. Actually denies the plan, that is beautiful. Yeah, they heard it coming there, and well played there by Lamy Snaps. To get that first take on Hunter Fury though, thrown on to the backhand side. Still no flat though here from Velocity Gaming, but Deathmaker now. Getting the first gear and the first kill for his team. Here comes Tito, catching up right to Ace. Hell up in the meantime, getting on the board, but he loving his family, loving his team. It's all up to Deathmaker now in a 1v3. Might see the peak though of the chamber, has to break Zarts. Very awkward scenario though here. For Deathmaker, because that spike isn't even planted as of yet. And PTC now says peak. Go for the lurks every single time. It seems like whenever they try to stab the backs of Velocity, it starts to work for them. Great flash though. Oh, John Olsen. All right, I wasn't singing his praise before, but I'll sing it now. John Olsen is hitting all of these nutties. He might be even looking for the ace. His teammate ignites it. Right to ace is starting to heat up as well, but he got mauled by the trailblazer. It does 30 damage. Yes, it to be the ones to juggle operators and tour the forces right alongside what we saw a while ago from Bonkers, right? But Deathmaker now, what a tap onto John Olsen! Saw the doggo just going rabbit at him. No fear whatsoever. Prioritizing the right target at the right. As the scrap in the middle. 
But for full sense, this is what they want, right? But the problem is, they're losing out on the shots here. Finally, the Lamy snaps. And Chalalala, they get on the board. Deathmaker there. Still with more impact. But Chalalala. He, uh, he is alive. It is looking much better for them. Still, though, since Hell F did not push through too aggressively. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to actually come into the fight already. Nope, not really. He's going to wait for his teammate first. The smoke to obscure the vision for Cha, giving him some uh, artificial angles here to work with because this is a two versus one with so much info gathered for uh, for Hell F and teammate. That being said, though, Shock Dart not actually connecting. Cha has a really good chance of actually being able to win this now. He's got the advantage. He's got the angle. Doesn't have to go for the smoke. Oh, the shock dart actually puts him to very critical mass, but he's set things up with his utility. Yeah, well, still the casualties abound, and now full sense. They will have to deal with things with the specters and sheriffs. Nice pick up though from John Olsen, now picking up the rifle, but the Matarazu on the inside. See, like he's the god there of C. Hall right now, C. Long. And well, the that's gonna be the takedown there. Onto himself by Amaterasu. This link though heavily controlled by the Shinto gods. The PTC now smack that in the middle. They haven't even put that spike down. Nice snipe stuff from Lamy Snacks. One and two. The dinks are there. The taps are true. And we go again from mid to A. As it's more secure here perhaps for full sense. But Amaterasu a step ahead. And looking to ascend to the heavens of a site. Four already for Amaterasu. Here we go with Lamy Snaps though, getting his third kill and shutting down the potential ace. 1v1 right now, Vivordo low on the HP. And as the scan does come, it will be Lamy Snaps backing on the way. Already a great response here for full sense. This is them only investing in a few sheriff's inspectors. If they can steal this round away from Velocity, it will be even better inside the smoke though. Moving on to the outside and Vivor! Home. The man, the myth, the legend himself, John Olsen is still on alive for now. You see the heals though. Here comes the Hunter's Fury. Full sense. Are they gonna try to force things out? They're looking for picks though. They haven't picked up that. Onto another site, but never mind that. It is slowly being crept up. They spotted out Hell F already. Maybe they'll ask the rotation onto the B site or just fully commit onto this one because not, there's not a lot of time left. 15 seconds left onto the clock. Deathmaker still here at the holding angle. Big flash from Bibhor, and all he has to do is set things up through the cloudburst of his own teammate. Maybe even able to shot at step, not even needed. Picks out the classic and does so much big damage onto V. The. They're gonna have to just back away. That false two step cascade was short and long, held by a player. And the lost full sense looking all around for a target PTC with spot. Here comes the paranoia this time though. Dodged by John Olsen. And that's all the space John Olsen needs to start popping up for here for John Olsen. His name, his game, and his aim is through. Quad kill for the jet. Feeding off the information. Feeding on the opposition. The take. Well, he's not definitely going to be in such this round, but he could deal some more economic damage. Staying inside the sewers right now. Waiting for a full sense to come. But it does feel like more of a commitment now here from the attacking side. Random thought. Mm. Those three Killjoy utilities on B looks like a hidden Mickey. Just pointing it out there, but that's going to be un, uh, seconds left. untouched at all. Because as you mentioned, it is going to be that A-side take. PTC, I wonder if he's going to spot out Deathmaker, who actually drops down. But Deathmaker's attention puts them in the back of him, and PTC times it perfectly. We still have right to ace. Never mind, knocked out into the site. This will give full sense the site itself. Killjoy ultimate will be used, but since the spike has been planted already, they can use this to exit out. Matarasu, as he tries to peek, the smoke dissipates, he gets his head knocked off, and they're trying to run away for dear life. Lamy Snacks will be a collateral here, Dax. But the numbers, as well as even post plan, should be favoring full sense. Yeah, here we go, though. The turret in the way. PTC going for the shots, but before from above, it's three. Chalalala will prevent, though, if need be. Or velocity. Stuck. At least they get rid of the biggest problem here so far on the other side. Yeah. Well, Frenzy does give you that uh, false sense of protection. You try to use it in that scenario. <laughs> what is up with these pistols, man? Oh, even better. LF comes out from the underworld and says, I will take your soul. That being said, though, we still are to the two versus two. But considering how multiple players of VLT are making things with the pistols work, it is going so well. How is this happening? How is the shock dart just better than the rest of the full send squadron? The peek out from Lamisex will be good, but the damage 
from Velocity. The fact that he will does not have the blades to actually play for the post plant. Now we do spot out PDC here. Look at how close one of them is. Hell F already on short. They've actually charged right in. They haven't cleared it out just yet because of the shenanigans that the Hunter's Fury left. almost gives up right to Ace. Actually, he gets walled up right in front of his face, but he still doesn't survive the fight. John Olsen now holding across the- He has the operator. The loss of the gaming. They watch their lead just crumble on as we have a one round gap between these two teams. Thing train. is though, Velocity not the best arsenal. Two Spectres in to play a single share, but the Operator Death Maker still around for now. The with the find finds two, and he's loving the push, loving the entries, and he just gets the takedown so simply anyway. That Velocity Gaming has to respect the presence of the chamber right now. Spike though will be planted, and as Velocity scrambled to find an angle, it's full sense all around surrounding the map. The Materasu's Lurk might actually be a linchpin here. It could open stuff up. Deathmaker whiffing a very important shot Shut to get down. that control onto C Long. Now they know the Deathmaker is going to be coming all the way around there, but that might not be enough time as his two teammates will be corralling all their garage to pick up the better weapons here. Oh, they still do have the numbers. They've taken them down, and yet, yeah, exactly that's counted sail here 11 to 11. As full sense, bring it all the way back. Yeah, if you made a wish for that full sense comeback. Uh, Deathmaker does not throw the pop shot through there. The smoke actually gives him still this leeway to push through. And right to Ace will be able to get down John Olsen. But John Olsen ignites the fight with that one trade off. But the rest of his team is starting to march off onto Ace side. As the Masarasa jumps up, D was ready and prepared. And D once again. He does it, takes some damage, but still opens up the site for his team. Yeah, the newer addition to the Full Sense roster heating on up again. Two more there for Thee to open up that A site, and you mentioned it. Jump for Joy and jump for Thee because that's the last shot you will be able to take there, good sir. Spike's not planted. If we ignited an ember towards C site, the flame is just encompassing A instead. And as of yet, Full Sense now are just haunting down the members of Velocity here. They want to cripple the economy of Velocity. The tides have turned, and on the attack side, Full Sense has fully woken on up. But right there, he's now goes for the 3k. The push now comes to shove as he will go for that A side. Over the long, though. Still is the chamber for a bit of the action. BTC now coming in for flat. Quad kill ready for right face. And can he get the clutch for the squad? No, he can't. The time is not even on the side. And they're just forcing and brute forcing rather their way into this one, Asurai. They still have flashes too. Deathmaker's position is already exposed, but not Vibhor. He can set up the crossfire here. He does do one, but he only has a Spectre, unfortunately. And the damage on that is not as painful as you would think it too. The double cross coming in from the defenders. They're hearing the rotation right now. Maybe they can cut this off, but Lamy's next timing Bullseye. is going to be key. Oh, perfect indeed. Ten seconds left. They are delaying though. Great flashes coming in here from Amaterasu, but he does not spot out B, who is already coming in the back of the side, right to Ace. Back again on the pedestal, on the podium here, Dax. Two versus one as he tries to push for overtime. Yeah, stays in the back of the side though, PTC right there, right 10. Lamy Sax from the garage, right to Ace now. Taking the platform, wants the high ground, able to crouch on down and get that takedown. Nice shot to the head of PTC. Throws the dart, sees that it's broken, and on the other side, it will be Lamy Snacks responding in kind. Shot falls though, do fly, gets the tag, 57 HP already. Lamy Snacks, no more utilities, and he's just sticking it! He's not letting go! And the loss of the gaming! They steal that one away! It's a right to clutch moment! Because playing that patient game. Now, the dark cover is there to distract and to block out the vision of the silver from the tower. Retake now is a go. It's still a 5v5 though for Velocity Gaming. At the very least, they got that spike plant and now they can play around the objective. I was wondering why Lamasnax wanted to use that Recon Dart too early, but he does have his drone to use. Though that timing on Amaterasu with the blade is going to delay them even further. They can't wait any longer. They have to start pushing in. And look at this. Lamy Snacks, John Olsen, and teammate are starting to rile right in. Oh my goodness, I have to sneeze, but they are still doing so well. Hell F coming in from the side though, but they already hear his footsteps. Even though he can maybe take these two players off, the diffuser is coming in, and I gotta beat myself for that. <laughs> now, now you can sneeze, and now you can see the power of Switching full side. sense. They just run it back Point. anyway. They let the retake be the victory condition. From that point on, it's full sense now. Oh, and Graffiti second guess if they should deal with that first or something else. That being said, 
Oh, Deathmaker, I thought he was going to get away with bloody murder. But the quick swaps, the quick trades, at least make it into a four versus four endeavor. The question now lies, do they know that PDC and V are already here on the swing? The timing going. is going to be crucial. Oh my goodness, this is bad. They've already flashed from the back of the side. And I don't know if before it can actually get back into this. And V actually already has spawned the audacity of these players, man, just to keep... Right to Ace. Thing is, though... Velocity showing that they've done their homework also. They might need that full sense wants to do here. But a nice peek towards the tower. Right, they still going on to the inside to get that takedown. 4v4 scenario, but that is the spike moving towards B site. Anyway, no, it's actually a wraparound. They're thinking about it. They can clear out some more of these angles. They can go towards A. And John Olsen falls to the hand of Matarasu. A side, screw it. Left. Okay, we were thinking for B. Might as well stick with it anyway. Matarasu trying to set up the fault line here. But nobody actually going to be there to actually hit. The question now lies, how well is the smoke criminal capabilities of role for the team? La la la, la same case. Really bringing out many, many aspects of the controller here and now. Velocity. They finally have the guns and... Oh, they're actually gonna be that willing to contest it. Flash is hit the play. John Austin pushes on forward. But the ambush here from Vibor and Amaterasu will lead to the takedowns onto the many of Full Senses mid takers. Now then, crossfire. Maybe we set on up perhaps. Maybe a double peek here towards the ramen. Bold line into play. Dito with a fight on Death Maker. Vibor now finally gets the trade. 3k for him. Lodo on the HP. There you have the stars being quite the bother. But this should be it for the round. Velocity taking the fight to full sense and only Chalalala with a Spectre can put a stop to it. Double stacked it actually, but... Well, a tiny little angle. But he couldn't get the job done. And John Olsen will survive for now. And as we get Velocity rotating all around, the fix happen courtesy of full sense. Right to Ace. Full sense is just a tad bit faster. He might be able to... Well, 30 seconds you might be able to get them inside without Vibora getting any kills whatsoever because there's a tripwire right in his face. There it is. The kill might have actually allowed them to push in. And he's rampaging through the ramps here. About to go for the swing. Gets spotted, but there's too many players, too many members. Horatsi is about to explode with left. lights blazing on the A Heaven side here. With the dash though, and right to Ace. That's a beautiful pick off onto John Olsen. Anticipating the aggression, courtesy of the Jet, but Chalalala with a fine onto Amaterasu. Here comes Full Sense now, right on site. 13 seconds left though. The velocity throw anything at them to stop this plant, no. But right to Ace, or at least take the opportunity to get that takedown and Death Maker. Just quick little shot there onto PTC to make it even easier here for Velocity. Crossing the though is the play, separating the lane of existence into two. Hell FF though, all the way into the corner. If Hell F can actually Get this clutch here for Velocity. Just duly noted and duly needed. Lamy snaps though in behind. The wall still with the separations. No noise on the other side. The time now is ticking. Velocity may need to hook it, but into the corner. Lamy snaps is right there. Painted, and he does have a nice little crossfire here alongside right to Ace, while their teammate is holding the top side of Heaven. Yeah, turret no, now the pressure is there, and John Olsen right beside it, but they didn't break the turret! And Hell of actually getting rid of John Olsen thanks to his utility setup, so good turret there! And the an interesting change of pace here from the side of the full sense, they went for the full sense towards that beat. Flies! Doesn't make anyone die though, but everyone's distracted here by the high ground. And Lamy snaps right now, flying on in like a superhero. Eventually, his keep is clipped, but Chalalala is there. So the problem is though, Full Sense has understood that this is a squad willing to fight them and where they want to play from. And instead, we get the action here towards B. Right to Ace. With that first takedown onto PTC, with a quick trade from John Alston preventing the escape of the Omen. So, not much smokes this time. For Velocity to work with, be able to blockade the vision. And you have to keep an eye, perhaps, on what the Killjoy can do to stem the push towards A side. But the spike now should be spotted here. You got John Olsen though crawling on yes. through. Deathmaker can't react in time. Nice sneaky left. plays again here from John Olsen. Splinter Cell and all, but all he needs is one to bring the damage versus Velocity at 3k already for the side of John Olsen in full sense. Nice tap though from Hella as he pushes on forward, but Chalalala always stalwart on the defense. Okay. And in a situation like that, he holds on to the corner to get that takedown to board. Now the only one left, here comes John Olsen now with a big jump peek. Mage is low, flushing him out, can't really peek in time to help out. Chalalala, 
Now the blast back to get in the way, but John Olsen tried to go for the wraparound. Here we go with the gun out, but John Olsen gets the quad oh, anyway. No. And it's four, I think, just misplaced his crosshair and got caught by John Olsen. And if you ever have a lapse again against John Olsen, you know you're dead. Full sense now, though. Going at it for the classic mid play and to the B side, they want the run. And PTC running on in to get that take down. Death Baker, though, making the frenzy count at least. 3v3 for now as Hellef will Spike try to play the And in the alleyway, he will try to go. Spectre, though, in hand. Lamy Stack still gets a headshot anyway to get the look at the sentry. vibe a bit for the middle. Here comes Shalala, though, turret now. Can get the spot of the Lamy Stacks as of yet. Death Baker with a takedown. But he made that noise, and here comes the swing. The peaks come out and velocity handle well, because it's been hella nerfed. The blades are out and well, even if the blades are nerfed, it's still potent with the headshots open. anyway. John Olsen, always a chef in this kitchen. Utilized, so it's all about how well they can force back Death uh, Deathmaker here, which is not really that much. He still holds on to this angle. Misses the flick though, but they still have to be very careful about the double up that Hell App has actually brought up to the plate. The flank and from Lamy Snacks, but that Killjoy Ultimate is about to explode. Oh, this is unfortunate. Both oh, of them got no. detained. It's easy pickings now for Amaterasu. All he has to do is play peekaboo. PTC. No way, he actually oh. still gets his gun. I've got the your fight trouble. is still on. And the Seekers are there here, Azurai. And in front of the column. Yeah, PTC looking to find the angle. Quick little tap though from Matarasu to force out the movement. Almost peeks into his demise of Matarasu right now. Trying to go for the chase. Time though is running on out. He needs to make a play fast. And PTC! Oh, he gets the gun back out! Coming in onto mid. That's how much John Olsen can pull the attention of the defense. There is already a Matarasu. He has ultimate here. So even if the plant, the spike is getting planted, planted, they still have to be very aware. Deathless or Deathmaker does get the kill onto Johnny. And the pinch will be real. V as well as Shaw. They're in such dire straits here. If V can actually get out of the position, maybe he's not getting hit by the showstopper. But there it is. And Deathmaker also with the off. Not a rifle, good sir. That is the charge. And are you ready to meet this? No chance whatsoever, even with the flashpoint there. Amaterasu who's setting up his own teammate's demise because of the close range encounter. For Lamisnax to start things off with the showstopper. Oh, never mind. There it is. He's just going to rush right in. <laughs> okay. No, no need for double satchel, BT dubs. There it is. Amaterasu using the defensive ultimate. That only does delay them a little bit longer here, but it did put Shaw in a position where he had to make uh, waves by himself. This does now lead the three versus two. No more time to go for B. They've committed already, or rather for A. They've committed already to push onto the B site. And the opening on the Matarasu was incredibly crucial. The cross by PTC as he gets the spike onto the default plant. And the two versus two commences here and now. Yeah, and just teleport there, faking the sounds. Right there, staying in position, really waiting for Deathmaker to come his way. Opto from the high ground might be the vantage point that they need. Checks out the cubbies just in case. Check out the mailbox as much as possible. But here goes the blades and down they go. John Olsen with the frag right there though. He's right there again. Right place, right time. That's the omen guarantee apparently. But PTC now trying to play the wraparound and here we go again. PTC. And he do it one more time. Spike is ticking. And right to Ace is coming his way. There we go with the tap. Guy you like on the inside. Nice flash! And the C in PTC. PTC. Now just backing away, Lamy Snacks might actually get pushed up here. There's the swing out from Vibhor, and he really committed to the fight. He has been tagged slowly by the nade, but he does have this pinch play where I don't know if Chalala will be able to make this work, but PTC, he is holding the fort onto B Heaven and the double takedown onto the duelists, as now it's going to be a three versus two with Hell F and right to ace, hoping to maybe get this in their hands. But they've taken the opportunity to take down right. Right, if they have the hot hands, they're a team that's nigh unstoppable. And Lamy Snacks, he's not done with the antics. That's a judge had nice peek though from the board to start things off. Here comes the guy in light though to try and give PTC a chance to escape. But VLT, they're getting the takedowns that they need. Here comes Steve though, watching, waiting, and looking to go for the takedown on the board. There's the takedown indeed. PTC on the board. Paranoid though, perfect. But he hides onto the default, and that's Steve right now no. with the. And the positional awareness for PTC, so good. I don't think he's going to know that PTC is already at the site itself, 
So when he tries to fully plant this spike, he's gonna get stabbed in the back already. There it is. Oh, really wow. What we've seen on the last map. I checked out the draft and I was really interested to see Full Sense have that respect ban for Icebox. And, you know, map number three, if it does happen, VLT usually had that ban out in their local stage at the set map. But lately, they've caught, again, by just the good timings of Full Sense there. That being said, this Full Sense went onto the A site. How does he get through this? Finally, John Olsen you does hit run. the shot, though. And Full Sense will be gutted away from the A site on the retake we go. So it's really good stuff from Velocity. Oh, he yeah. fell right planted. to the ace. Found Chalalala, even though he got eaten by Seekers. And despite the blind, Velocity able to trade out the numbers here. Lockdown though now dissipating. Not really gonna get the detain, but did buy space for Velocity to make their last stand. Double stack towards the screen. Enemy A long finish. angle through main, but even further away, it's John also. Going for the parcels again. Signed, sealed, delivered, courtesy of Full Sense. And Velocity will have to read their own epitaph as Full Sense will move on to the.